Anaplastic Thyroid Cancer, Wikipedia Article Audio Anaplastic thyroid cancer is a form of thyroid cancer which has a very poor prognosis due to its aggressive behavior and resistance to cancer treatments. Its anaplastic cells have poor differentiation, including dedifferentiation. Anaplastic tumors have a high mitotic rate and lymphovascular invasion. They rapidly invade surrounding tissues. The presence of regional lymphadenopathy in older patients in whom needle aspiration biopsy reveals characteristic vesicular appearance of the nuclei would support a diagnosis of anaplastic carcinoma. Presentation Prognosis It is always considered as stage 4. The overall 5-year survival rate of anaplastic thyroid cancer has been given as 7% or 14%, although the latter has been criticized as being overestimated. Treatment of anaplastic type carcinoma is generally palliative in its intent for a disease that is rarely cured and almost always fatal, with worse prognosis associated with large tumors, distant metastases acute obstructive symptoms, and leukocytosis. Death is attributable to upper airway obstruction and suffocation in half of patients, and to a combination of complications of local and distant disease, or therapy, or both in the remainder. Anaplastic thyroid cancer is extremely aggressive, in most cases death occurs in less than one year as a result of aggressive local growth and compromise of vital structures in the neck. ATC in most series has a median survival of four to five months from the time of diagnosis, with rare long-term survivors. Unlike its differentiated counterparts, Anaplastic thyroid cancer is highly unlikely to be curable either by surgery or by any other treatment modality, and is in fact usually unresectable due to its high propensity for invading surrounding tissues. Treatment Palliative treatment consists of radiation therapy usually combined with chemotherapy. New drugs, such as phosphatabulin, Bortezomib and TNF-related apoptosis-induced ligand, are however being under investigation in vitro and in human clinical studies. Based on encouraging phase I and II clinical trial results with phosphatabulin, a type of drug that selectively destroys tumor blood vessels, a large, multinational clinical trial is being undertaken to determine whether the drug can extend the survival of patients with ATC. Postoperative Radiotherapy The role of external beam radiotherapy in thyroid cancer remains controversial and there is no level I evidence to recommend its use in the setting of differentiated thyroid cancers such as papillary and follicular carcinomas. Anaplastic thyroid carcinomas, however, are histologically distinct from differentiated thyroid cancers and due to the highly aggressive nature of ATC aggressive postoperative radiation and chemotherapy are typically recommended. The National Comprehensive Cancer Network Clinical Practice Guidelines currently recommend that postoperative radiation and chemotherapy be strongly considered. No published randomized controlled trials have examined the addition of EBRT to standard treatment, namely surgery. Radioactive iodine is typically ineffective in the management of ATC as it is not an iodine avid cancer. Imbalances in age, sex, completeness of surgical excision, histological type, and stage between patients receiving and not receiving EBRT, confound retrospective studies. Variability also exists between treatment and non-treatment groups in the use of radioiodine and post-treatment thyroid stimulating hormone suppression and treatment techniques between and within retrospective studies. Adjuvant Therapy some recent studies have indicated that EBRT may be promising, 
though the number of patients studies has been small. Notable patients Clinical trials for investigational treatments are often considered by healthcare professionals and patients as first-line treatment. In the absence of extracervical or unresectable disease, surgical excision should be followed by adjuvant radiotherapy. In the 18-24% of patients whose tumor seems both confined to the neck and grossly resectable, Complete surgical resection followed by adjuvant radiotherapy and chemotherapy could yield a 75-80% survival at two years. There are a number of clinical trials for anaplastic thyroid carcinoma underway or being planned.